Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. Championship of the world. This man's record, 30 wins, four losses, one draw. A dozen victories coming by way of Naka. He has won his last two fights, both at middleweight. Joining us from Belleville, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hungry and determined Thomas Cornflake Lamada. Thomas. I just want to thank everybody for coming. I'm grateful for this opportunity. Um, you know, I trained my entire life for this one moment, for this one moment in um, all my fights, all my experience, every fighter. Um, dreams of becoming a world champion and come Saturday night I will fulfill my dream and uh, I'll make the uh, I'll make a huge statement and let the world know why I'm the true American dream all right Thomas Lamana very focused let's talk about the man that is known as the American dream himself he's from Cuba originally now fighting out of Las Vegas one of the most accomplished super welterweights in recent memory He's looking to become a three-division world champion, most recently having won a decision over Greg Vendetti in August of last year, live on Fox. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the American dream, Erislandi Lara. Erislandi. Eh, buenos días a todos. Estamos listos, estamos listos para el primero de mayo. Vamos a ver qué pasa. Y veremos dar un buen show y que todo salga bien. Good morning, everybody. We are so ready for May 1st. We're going to see what happens, but we're going to put on a great show no matter what. Fox Telecast, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific Time. Thomas Lamana. Thomas, you have had a very arduous journey. You've worked hard for everything that you've gotten, and now you get another big opportunity against Edis Landi Lada. How is the result going to be different in this fight compared to the other times in which you've gone for gold? You know, it's for the world title. I'm fighting a bona fide world champion, um, a, a, a great fighter who I have nothing but respect for. But at the end of the day, I'm just more hungry, more hungry than I've ever been before. Um, I train my, I, I train very hard. I'm, I'm not going to use explicit. I, 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 um, I've trained very hard for the last nine weeks um, to make sure that I secure a victory. And, um, I'm going to make sure that no matter what and what all it takes, I will become the new champion Saturday. Ed Landi, I want to go with you. You are now seeking to become a three-division world champion. I'm sure you had options at 154, but why go up to 160 pounds? Ed Landi, bueno, eh, tu objetivo es ser un campeón de tres divisiones, ¿verdad? Yo sé que tenías opciones en las 154 libras. Entonces, ¿por qué ir a las 160? Bueno, primero que nada, fue una cosa que fue planeada por, por mi hermano y el Luis de Luis Cuba Junior. Quisimos, me dio, él me dio la oportunidad de, de pelear por el título en las 160 libras. Y yo le dije, ok, estamos listos para pelear en 160. Normalmente camino en esa división y tengo que hacer un, un esfuerzo más para bajar para las 54 y creo que no tengo ningún tipo de problema. I really have no trouble at all fighting in 160. This was something that we talked about in a joint fashion with my manager. He asked me, are you ready to go for the title in the 160-pound division? And I said, yeah, let's go for it. So that's how it happened, and I'm, op uh, I'm open to, to anything in 154 too, but really I'm focusing on 160 right now and going after it. Okay, and for Thomas, what are you hoping fans take away from your performance against Edislandi Lada this Saturday? Um, well, I'm hoping that the fans um, understand and respect that I belong at the high level. Um, despite this is my first time fighting a world champion at the world championship level, you know, I belong here. Um, and, you know, just to give me my, my respect, win, lose, or draw, but more importantly, when I win and when I retire them. How do you see the fight playing out on Saturday Knockout. Night? Knockout? Knockout. You're predicting a knockout. knockout. You're going to knock out Islandi Lada. Knockout. Okay, at Islandi, he's saying he's going to knock you out. What's your response to that? A ver, acá te dicen que te van a noquear, que te van a mandar a la lona. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es tu respuesta? Eh, mi respuesta, yo vine aquí a bocear. Lo único que se hace yo es bocear. Si él dice que, que me van a noquear, lo veremos el primero de mayo. Yo sé que te van a noquear a ti en cuatro rounds. 
I came here to fight. And you know what? If you're going to knock me out, guess what? I'm going to knock you out. Okay, so does that anger you when he says that he's going to knock you out? Because I've watched your career, and I don't know of many guys that have said, I'm going to knock out at Islandi Lada. Does that anger you? Does that infuriate you? Uh, oh, uh, that was for the Islandi. Sorry, I thought we were coming back to Isaac. No, no. Uh, uh, si te hace enojar que alguien diga algo como que te va a noquear, que se tenga tanta confianza. No, eso me da gracia. Me da gracia. Este, esperemos el primero de mayo todo el mundo ha querido naquearme tengo muchos años en este deporte y muchos años en la división en la 154 ahora una nueva experiencia en la 160 y todo el mundo me ha querido naquear y no han podido hacerlo ¿cómo te va a venir a decir que lo vas a hacer? I'm just waiting for May 1st because everybody has tried to knock me out I, I, they have tried at 154 I have plenty of experience I'm coming up to 160 and they can try all they want he can say all he wants but I'm going to be I'm going to be ready for, to to fight anybody that tries to knock me out. Thomas, why did you make such a bold prediction? Why not? I'm here. It's my one shot. I'm going for it. All right, and Islandi, if, if I'm correct, you said what? You're going to knock him out in the fourth round? Eh, si estoy en lo correcto, vos dijiste que lo vas a noquear cuando en el cuarto round. Voy a trabajar duro para anotar en cuarto round. ¿Cómo? Voy a trabajar duro para anotar en cuatro rounds. I'm going to fight really I'm going to fight really hard and try my hardest to knock him out in the fourth round. Thomas, I'll give you the last word. What do you want to say to that? He's saying four rounds or less. Goodbye. Listen, we got we got 12 rounds and it's goodbye. We got 12 rounds and it's goodbye. I'm not getting into all that round shit. It's we got 12 rounds. Oh, I can't wait for this. Ed is Landi Lada, Thomas Lamana. Someone's going to sleep on Saturday night, live on Fox 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific time. You, you know, too. Okay, I'm going to give it to the guys, uh, or I'm going to go ahead and we're going to stare these guys down. And Muchas now gracias. we have Ed is Landi Lada and Thomas Lamana. Lada says he's going to knock out Lamana in the fourth round or less. Lamana says Lada is going to sleep. This is for the middleweight championship live on Fox this Saturday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific time. Brought to you by TGB Promotions, presented by Premier Boxing Champions. Okay, uh, you want to... Yes, if we can go and have them step up para, and then ahí, keep your favor, distance. This is your Fox card. A terrific double header before the pay per view at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific time, live on Fox. Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Greatly appreciate it. Good luck on Saturday. Now I'm going to bring up my colleague, an excellent fighter, a fun.